Hello mga kawawmat, in this video lesson, we'll discuss computing test statistic value involving population proportion. So, to compute the auto test and to compute the computed value, we're using the C-test, using this formula, where your, this one, this is the C-test computed value, and this symbol, that is for sample proportion, kung saan makukumpute natin yung sample proportion by uh, dividing x over n. And p is the hypothesized value of the population proportion. n is the sample size of the number of observation in the sample. And q is equal to 1 minus p. So, so itong gagawin natin for c-test statistics for population proportion. Okay, for example, determine the value or determine the computed value or the C computed value given the following information. So, the population or the hypothesized proportion is 0 0.5. Sample 100. Sample proportion is 0 0.40. So, in order to compute, okay, the Z-test computed value, natin yung value ng Q natin. So, Q, 1 minus P. So, since yung P natin is 0 0.35, so 1 minus 0 0.35, the answer is 0 0.65. So, uh, ito lang naman ang importante. Kailan ma meron tayo makuha natin yung hypothesis proportion natin and yung N, yung sample proportion, or yung Q natin. So, using the formula, substitute all the given data on the formula. So, that is 0 0.40 minus 0 0.35 over the square root of 0 0.35 times 0 0.65 over 180. Now, uh, kung ako sa inyo class, gamitin nyo, i-direct nyo to sa calculator. Kasi kapag nag-round off tayo dito sa okay, halimba, kukunin nyo muna itong sa denominator natin. Nag-round off tayo, uh, nagkakaroon, although maliit lang naman, no, maliit lang naman yung uh, ano niya, yung layo niya dun sa kapag dinirect natin sa calculator. So, mas maigi na gumamit tayo ng calculator. So, that is 1.40 uh, 4064. Okay? So, mas okay na gamitan nyo to ng calculator. So, the, compute, the C computed value is 1.4064. Next. Okay, the population proportion is 0.36. And N is 250 or the sample size is 250. The sample proportion is 29% or that is 0 0.29. So, kailangan natin kunin yung value ng Q. Okay, so 1 minus P or 1 minus 0 0.36, the answer is 0 0.64. So, gamit yung given data na ito, substitute natin lang sa formula. So, 0 0.29, that is our sample proportion. Okay, yung 29%. Minus 0 0.36, okay, the population proportion, divided by the square root of, okay, yung P natin, 0 0.36, times yung Q, that is 0 0.64, over 250. Okay, using your, your calculator, that is negative 2.3058. Okay, next. A politician claims that he will receive 60% of the votes in the upcoming election. So, in a random sample of 500 voters, there are 175 who will surely vote for him. So, first, okay, identify natin what is the hypothesized proportions, which is, that is 60%. So, yung P is equal to 0 0.60. Next is the, okay, so the value of Q. So, yung Q natin, that is 1 minus P. So, since yung value ng P natin is 0 0.60, 1 minus 0 0.60, the value of Q is 0 0.40. And then, yung sample size natin is 500. Our uh, X here is 175. So, to compute the sample proportion, we're using this formula, X over N. And that is 175. Divided by 500, the answer is 0 0.35. So, uh, yung sample proportion natin is 0 0.35. So, kompleto na yung kailanganin natin para 
uh, makompute natin yung C computed value natin dito. Okay? So, using the formula, using the formula, so substitute all the given data, 0 0.35 minus 0 0.60, okay, 0 0.35 minus 0 0.60, divided by the square root of 0 0.6 or 0 0.60 times 0 0.40 over 500. And using your calculator, the answer is negative 11.4109. So, yung iba... Okay, magtataka kayo, ba, sir, uh, o, pwede ba dalawang decimal lang? Pwede naman, so depende sa kung anong sasabihin ng teacher nyo. Kung ang sasabihin ng teacher nyo, hanggang 2 decimal places lang, so i-round up nyo up to 2 decimal places. So nilagay ko lang dito up to 4 decimal places, which is hindi naman sinabi na kailangan apat, uh, apat talaga, no? yung kailangan nyo ilagay na decimal. So depende rin sa teacher nyo kung ilang decimal places yung i-required sa final answer. Okay, for example, number three, a social worker reports that 30% of workers in a factory are below 25 years of age. Of the 120 employees survey, 38 said that they are 15 years old. So, what is the hypothesized proportion? So, the hypothesized proportion is 30%. So, the value of P is 0 0.30. And then, to compute the value of Q, so that is 1 minus P, so yung P natin is 0 0.30. So, 1 minus 0 0.30, the answer is 0 0.70. Then, determine the sample size. Our sample size here is 120. And then, X is equal to 38. So, to compute the sample size, X over N, so our X is 38. 38 divided by 120, the answer is 0 0.32. And now, substitute the given, uh, yes, all the given data on the formula. So, 0 0.32 minus 0 0.30 divided by the square root of 0 0.30 times 0 0.70 over 120. And the answer is 0 0.4781. Another example, healthcare coverage for employees varies with company size. It is reported that 30% of all companies with fewer than 10 employees provide health benefits for their employees. A sample of 50 companies with fewer than 10 employees is selected. It is found that 19 of the 50 companies survey provide health benefits for their employees. So first, what is the hypothesized proportions? And that is 30%. No? So, P is equal to 0 0.30. And Q, that is 1 minus P. So, 1 minus 0 0.30. The answer is 0 0.70. So, the value of Q is 0 0.70. Next, N is 50. So, the sample size is 50. And the sample size... Uh, the value of x is 19 kasi it is found that 19 out of 50. So, yung x natin is 19. To compute the sample proportion, x over n. So, 19 divided by 50, the sample proportion is 0 0.38. Okay. So, using all the given data, substitute natin sa formula. So, the sample proportion, 0 0.38 minus the population proportion, that, that is 0 0.30 over square root of 0 0.30 times 0 0.70 over 50. Okay, so using your calculator, that is 1.2344. Okay, I think this is the last example. A survey of 2,500 women between the ages of 15 and 50 found that 28% of those surveyed relied on the pill for birth control. The research shows that 25% of them are using the pill for birth control. So, what is the hypothesized proportion? Here, the hypothesized proportion is 25%. So, baka isipin nyo na yung 28% yung hypothesized proportion. That 28% is yung sample proportion kasi that is, according dito sa sentence natin, Ages of 15 and 50 found that 28% of this relied on the Pilbert control. So, ibig sabihin, uh, that is the selected na, no, na sample doon sa 
ano natin sa problems. So, that is 28%. Ibig sabihin, this is the sample proportion. And, okay, so, first is 1 minus, to solve for Q, that is 1 minus P. So, the answer will be, so, the value of Q, 1 minus P, that is 1 minus 0 0.25. So, the value of Q is 0 0.75. Next is the sample size, which is 2,500. And the sample proportion is 28% or that is 0 0.28. So, again, uh, yung population proportion natin dito is yung 25%. And yung 28% natin dito, that is the sample proportion. So, ba baka malito lang kayo. And after that, i-substitute natin. So, or yung sample proportion is 0 0.28. So, hindi na natin kailangan i-compute yung sample proportion kasi binigay na siya sa problem. So, i-substitute na lang natin lahat ng ito sa formula natin. So, 0 0.28 minus 0 0.25 divided by the square root of 0 0.25 times 0 0.75 over 2,500. And the answer is... 3.4641 Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.